Hey, today we're gonna to be talking about how to pick a great place to work away from your desk. This video has been brought to you by Freedom and Train of Thought. To find out more, go to freedom.to or simply Google Freedom. Make sure to hit that subscribe button too. When you work from home, it can become quite static and stale quite quickly. It can feel sometimes like the walls are closing in and the environments become really boring and uninspiring. I've worked from home for a number of years and I promise you that I've felt this several times. So often in, that, in those circumstances, I'll look for a new place to work and sometimes that's inside the house and often that's outside too. But it can be actually quite difficult to find a workplace that really does work for me. So I've tried a lot of different places over the years and I've found some things much more successful than others. It's a case of really looking at what will help you to work more fruitfully. What will help your work to be as satisfying and as productive as possible? Where can you find that space that you can do the work? And in this video, we're going to look at some ways to make sure that the place you pick is successful for you. Tip number one, know when you need a change of scene. Now this one might seem quite obvious, but usually I work out that I could do with a change of scene later than I could actually do with a change of scene. My symptoms of needing, needing a new workspace are usually that I drink loads of tea, which is the most British thing I've ever said. But I also know that I start to feel a bit grumpy and I start to just mindlessly browse the internet. Those are symbols to me that the space I'm in isn't working for me. I could do with a change of scene and a change up to give me some new energy. Think about when you've gone and worked somewhere else and where that's feel really good and the symptoms you had just before it. Because that slightly irritable, slightly uninspired feeling is often a sign that maybe changing something up could actually give you a burst of energy. And that doesn't necessarily mean you have to leave the house or go to a coffee shop. It could be actually that you need to just change up the space in your own home. And if you need to stay at home, you can use the Freedom Dashboard Focus Sounds to actually bring that atmosphere into your own place. The hubbub of the coffee shop, for example, that atmosphere and that energy. How can you bring that into the space you have? It's not necessarily about leaving the house or staying in. It's about a change of scene that inspires you. Number two, focus on your need. Don't just focus on the place itself, focus on the need it needs to fulfill. For example, it could be that you miss the energy of a group of people, in which case a cafe is an amazing place to work. It could be that you're actually missing one-on-one -on -one connection with someone you care about, so maybe you could go to a friend's house. It could be actually that what you need is focus and actually moving to a quieter location in your own house will fulfill that need. It's really simple to just go for the end result and not necessarily end up with it doing what it needs to do for you focus on what you need and how to fulfill it. For example, I knew a writer who would go to quite what we call greasy, spoon, greasy spoons in London, these like very regular coffee shops, and he'd go because he was writing about real life, and that's where real life happened for him. Focus on that and it'll be much easier to choose the location. But remember too that the normal rules of working apply. It's really important to have a good chair and a good surface. Sometimes when I feel that what I need is a bit of sunshine, I sit on the square outside my house, but usually I'm kind of craning over a laptop, not really being able to see the screen, all huddled up in a ball. And I can tell you, I don't get any work done. It's a lovely place to sit. It's not necessarily a lovely place to work. And number three, enjoy that change of scene. If you are somewhere new, make the most of it. If you're in a coffee shop, treat yourself to a coffee. If you're at a friend's house, maybe do something together that isn't just work. Make the most of being in that different environment. Bring the joy into your life. It'll be all the more inspiring. It's not about breaking your focus or, or not doing your work. It's just about making the most of being there. That joy and enthusiasm will add to your life and that will add to your working life. It's not all about being really severe and strict all the time. It's actually about making the most of the opportunities you have. When you're working from home, things can become stale. It can feel like the walls are closing in and a change of scene can be a really, really good thing. It's just picking a spot that adds to your life and makes you more productive. And using these tips, I think it'll be much easier for you to do so. We love novelty, we love new things, and you can use that to propel your work forward and do a better job. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to check out the Freedom free trial. Head to freedom.to to get started. If you're looking for more information on productivity, better working habits, digital distraction, head to the blog in the link in the description below. If you're interested more in train of thought and working fearlessly, head to our YouTube page. There'll also be a link there and make sure to subscribe. Until we meet again, take care.